Hi YouTube, I'm Casey. Hi, Jackie. We're filling in for someone today. I don't remember who it was on the Closet Collab. Mm -hmm. And we're talking about breakups. So, you want to go ahead and say what you have to Things say? to do and not to do in a relationship. Guilt. Don't feel guilty or feel like it's just all your fault why you and that person broke up. Because... Ooh, your feet do stink. I'm sorry to say that. <laughs> God. I'm sorry. I'll put them over here. Okay, go. God. I've been wearing sneakers all day. Guilt. Don't, don't just, you know, worry yourself. Oh, it's my fault. This, that, and all that other stuff. Because, you know, I don't know. <laughs> that was great. Okay. <laughs> Uh, what do I have to say about breakups? Um, definitely in lesbian relationships, you just want to break up once. Um, just once. Don't take them back and do the whole back and forth thing. Um, because it's not healthy for either of you guys to go through, like, the emotional roller coaster or whatever. Don't take them back. Especially if they're cheaters. Um. Liars. Or liars, especially. Because, like I, I always say, like, once a cheater, always a cheater usually um but you can't like compromise your own moral beliefs because you want to be with this person and you're so in love also if y'all both if you broke up on a reasonable factor and you believe that you guys both if y'all both believe that you guys can work things out um you know, work things out. Be mature enough to work things out. You know, be mature to work things out and get back together, then you, sh you should do it. But don't rush to do it because you're so in love with that person. Right. Because then that's when re stuff really is not going to work. Right. You need to take time to, like, actually Kill. get over the person. Yeah. Kill. And then if it works out in the future where you guys end up being together, then that's good. But you need to take time for yourself for sure. Don't be a dumbass. <laughs> don't stalk. Right. <laughs> My space is their space. So give them their space. On my space. But if y'all on bad terms, just leave it alone. Because you're just making things worse. And there are plenty of fish in the sea, trust me. You can find something else better to do with your time. <laughs> to be worrying about what this person might be doing. Or, you know, is he thinking about you or is she thinking about you? Right. All that crud. Go out and have fun with your friends. Do something that you have not done in a long time that you stopped doing when you got with this person. Yeah. And don't burn bridges, especially when you do get in a relationship. Go on the bed. Hi, yeah. Grandma. <laughs> <laughs> when you do end up breaking up with that person or, you know, something happens where you guys break up, don't um, be totally obsessed with that person to where you burn bridges with your old friends because you're going to need them and need their support when you do end, the end. end up breaking up and especially with best friends that you grew up with right like my senior year in high school I basically lost all my friends because I was so obsessed with my girlfriend at the time and I mean I had to like rekindle those relationships because I mean it was just her and me my senior year so um it definitely sucks when you don't have any friends to talk to when you guys break up so I would definitely say not to burn your bridges. If you see your ex with somebody else, just keep walking the other way. Don't go back and try to make this person jealous and do some dumb shit. Because if if, if you do, then you're going to be the one looking like a fool. Right. If you see this person with another... Just don't be fake. <laughs> if you see this person with another woman or another man, that means he or she is over you. And it's time for your ass to get over him <laughs> or she. She or he. Just get over it. And that's about... Move on! YouTube! Woo! Anyway, um, so you guys have a great week, and uh, hopefully you guys will get to see me later. But, um, yeah. Bye!